oh my god so I was so passionate and like so excited to film this video that I totally did this whole video without mascara on has anyone else ever done that excuse my um no mascara lashes throughout this entire video hope you enjoyed the video please don't mind my no mascara lashes again for the entire video leave it to me hey guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here and you didn't know already my name is tara and i'm a cruelty free youtuber so today i'm just going to be doing my overall opinion review on the Too faced gingerbread spice palette i don't do a lot of full-on reviews on things that often anymore unless i really really like something or really really dislike something so for me this palette is kind of a hit and miss when I first seen it online, I was like, oh my god, I have to have that. The packaging is just so stinking cute. The colors are absolutely stunning, you know? I was really, like, excited for this shade right here, this silvery shade. And, you know, like, the purples and the warm tones, I was, like, living for it. Then when I got it in hand and started playing with it, I was sadly disappointed. So the shade that I was super excited about frostbite is like this chunky mess like it is awful and when you try to apply it on the lid it is a disaster even with a glitter glue like look at this <laughs> what is that where did it go like it doesn't matter if you wet your brush use your finger it is awful then I started looking at some of the matte shades which the mattes perform for the most part beautifully the shimmers are very hit and miss but you look at these shades right here the mattes okay now let me go to my <laughs> Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette do we see a similar theme here I mean I see a similar theme here okay if you look at the shimmers in this palette do we see a similar theme here because I see a similar theme here it's almost like <laughs> literally it's almost like Too Faced took shadows shadow inspiration from like every single one of Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes in the last like three years and threw it into this guy because you got shades like this that remind me of like subculture and then you got like shades like this that remind me of the modern renaissance palette then you have shades like these some of these shimmers that remind me of you know the Norvina palette then you have shimmers like this that remind me of the soft glam palette and so on and so forth so it's just kind of like okay Too Faced can we come up with something unique original different I mean can can we can we do that like is it possible is it just think for the price it's this is over fifty dollars that it's not worth it especially if you own like I'm a collector so I own all of Anastasia's palettes. I don't have them all over here right now because I was filming an eyeshadow declutter. Anyways, I'm gonna also demo this eye look that I have on my face right now, which I use this palette. And you know, I'm gonna also swatch these for you, but I just feel like the formula, like I said, is very hit and miss. If you own these mattes already, which Anastasia isn't the only brand to do these kinds of mattes, um, Colored Rain, their Queen of Hearts palette is basically the exact same thing. So, I mean, it's just very dupable. Very dupable. Now, if you have, uh, if you don't own any of these palettes that I'm talking about, you may love this palette. This may be like your go to. But again, some of the shimmers in here, most of the shimmers in here are just like a hot, chunky mess. Like, they're just. <laughs> awful <laughs> absolutely awful so yeah uh next we're gonna get into swatches no, we're gonna go this way down this way this way down we are getting 18 shadows for i believe it's 52 dollars or was it 59 dollars? i believe it's 52 dollars. i'll put the price on the screen right here so you are getting you know a decent amount of shadows uh you get for product you get 0.70 grams and per shadow and the net weight is 12.6 grams so that's not too too bad it's your typical Too Faced shadow so first is the shade powdered sugar which is just like a cream shade which doesn't even show up on me 
Then we have spiked eggnog, which is what I have on my inner corner, which honestly doesn't look like much on my inner corner. Right there, it looks beautiful. And it's not bad all over the lid, the spiked eggnog color. Then we have the shade Gumdrop, which is this beautiful, warm berry color, which is a shade that reminds me of a modern renaissance color. Then we have the shade Gingerbread, which I have in my crease today, which is just a nice, warm terracotta. Then we have the shade Warm and Toasty, which is a shimmer, which is also pretty chunky, um, which is this guy right here. And then for last for that row is O Burn, which is also very chunky and reminds me of a shade in the Norvina palette. For the next row, we have, oh my gosh, every time I try to swatch the shade, it's a mess. The shade Frost Bit, or wait, what is it? Frost Bit Me, and look at this shade from me trying to stick my finger in it. Look at it. It looks like total crap. It's just like, oh, I got in my tea. I guess I'm drinking eyeshadow now. <sighs> Yummy. Then we have the shade Looky at My Cookie, which I have in my crease today as a transition shade. It's just a nice soft pink. Then we have the shade Spice is Nice, which is a nice warm orange color which also reminds me of a modern renaissance thing, eyeshadow. And then we have the shade O oh Snap right here, which is like a matte with glitter in it. Then we have the shade Bake It Till You Make It, which is also another chunky hot mess right here. And then we have the shade Spice of Life, which is this one, which is another I mean, the, the shimmers swatch beautifully, but they're really not beautiful. They fall out, they're crumbly. Then we have the shade Sugar Daddy. I do not like these names. As a mom, like, which is like a pretty soft pink lavender color. Then we have the shade Figgy Pudding, which is a deep berry tone, which swatches crappy, but it's actually very beautiful. The shade Hot Toddy, which is another hot chunky mess and you can probably see that chunk a little bit better then we have the shade reindeer paws which is like a deep brown right there then we have the shade gingerbread latte which I used on my lower lash line today right there and then last but not least we have spiced rum which is also a chunky mess Oh, God. Eee, that was awful. Right there, which you can see. So again, we have powdered sugar, spiked eggnog, gumdrop, gingerbread, warm and toasty. What is that? Oh, burn. Frost bit me or frost bite me. I don't know. Looky at my cookie. Spice is nice, oh snap, bake it till you make it, spice of life, sugar daddy, <clears throat> figgy pudding, hot toddy, reindeer paws, gingerbread latte, and spiced rum. I'm just not super blown away by this palette. Um, and I was so excited for it because I used to own all the chocolate bar palettes and then I decluttered all of them. So I thought, oh, finally, I'm going to love a Too Faced palette again. Like, I'm so excited. And then now I'm just disappointed. With having hooded eyes, shimmers are like the thing that I'm like the most stickler about because almost any matte, even if it's patchy or isn't that great, you can build it up and you can blend. Like, I would rather sit there and blend for a little bit longer than deal with a shimmer that's going to fall all over my face or is going to, like, be up to here on my eyebrows or, you know, something like that. So, for me, I just don't think that you should waste your money on this, especially if you already have, like, some of these Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. I think that e.l.f. also, um, their Mad for Matte palette 
they have very similar colors in their Mad for Matte palettes, you know, for the mattes. And then the shimmers, you can dupe out all of these shimmers and other palettes and more affordable palettes. So yeah, I just, I'll probably get hate for this, but I just don't feel like this is worth the money at all. I think that, you know, especially marketing towards teens and stuff, which they're doing. I mean, look at the packaging. These names are just so vulgar and I don't agree with that either. Um, so yeah, I guess now it's time to get into the demo. First, I'm gonna take this fluffy crease brush from Wet n Wild. <sighs> Gosh. And I'm gonna start off with the shade Looky, Looky, Looky at My Cookie. How, how great. Looky at My Cookie. Leave it to Too Faced. And the mirror in this palette is absolutely horrendous. Like, it's one of those, like, wonky mirrors. I don't know. And like I've already said, uh, which you guys have seen, you know, me before this with, like, the finished look and my thoughts and whatever, the mattes in this palette are nice. They blend really nice for the most part and everything like that. A few of them are patchy, but the shimmers are awful and almost every color in this palette can be duped out somewhere. And then I'm going to take this Morphe E17 brush and I'm gonna take this brown shade right here called Gingerbread right here. And also put this in my crease, but lower down, like in the socket of my crease. And then literally, I'm just gonna take a shimmer and throw it all over my lid. I'm trying to use one that's not super chunky. Um, I'm gonna use the shade warm and toasty and I'm gonna use my finger and I'm just gonna literally apply this all over my stinking lid for my lower lash line I'm just gonna take this Morphe E36 it's like a small nice tapered dome brush and I'm gonna take the shade, is it gingerbread latte? Yeah, gingerbread latte, and just smoke that out on my lower lash line. Only going like a quarter of the way in, I guess you would say. I'm gonna take this like dollar store, or it's a wet and wild lip brush, and I'm gonna take this shade right here called spiked eggnog and these are marketed towards kids like it scares me and I'm gonna spritz that with the Citrice prime and fine spray you can use anything doesn't have to be anything fancy I'm gonna stick this in my inner corner as you can see it's not anything crazy even with a spray and I'm dragging it down to the rest of my lower lash line all right now I'm just gonna throw some lipstick on where's my lipstick I'm gonna use the morphe cream lipstick in forever oh such a pretty color so comfortable on the lips. I created a very similar look using the Jeffree Star Thirsty palette. When I saw it, I was like, oh my god, the packaging is just so freaking adorable, right? And I smell it. it smells pretty good, not gonna lie. And the colors in here caught my eye, of course, especially this color right here. But it's just so, like, I hope you guys can see this. It's literally falling apart. It is so freaking chunky and gross and a lot of the shimmers are like that this some of them okay 
so you know cube from the subculture palette like the shimmers in the subculture palette some of the shimmers in this this palette are like that and then some of them are decent like the one I used on my eyes and I just feel like all of these can be duped out with other palettes so yeah for the cost of how much this is and if you already have palettes in your collection that have these colors I don't think it's worth the money I really don't now that I've realized just how ununique <laughs> this palette is I really just don't want it the packaging is cute yes it's adorable but I don't want this in my collection just because the packaging is adorable you know what I mean so anyways I hope you liked this video and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like my vibe don't forget to subscribe and I really hope to see you guys on the next one bye guys